Am I awkwardly close to you guys? This no, seems no, no, like no, no. awkwardly close to how no, the reporters. Now you're fine. <laughs> Join us. I mean, you could be like here and then you'll be fine. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it just seems closer <laughs> than I've ever been. <laughs> like right in your face. It is closer than normal. I yeah, right? Yeah. It seems a little it's bit. Right. It's, it's cool. We're all family here. It, yeah, yeah. We've met before. It's Let's great. get naked. <laughs> Jesus. What are we waiting for? The film deals with sort of a, a theme of isolation. Mm -hmm. um, was there something that sort of interests you in that theme and sort of explore that with the source material? Well, I have to say that keeping in mind that I didn't, you know, write the script. That when right. it came to me, there was like several ideas that they popped up, like the ones to go for and to underline. And uh, I don't know that particularly. I think that it was more about a, the possibility of going to this thriller that is, uh, you know, straightforward. It starts here and it, mm -hmm. it ends there and uh, adding layers to it without betraying the, the basic premise. That was my thing. I mean, it was the first time that I really felt that uh, if I did things going against the script, it, it doesn't work. It, it mm. doesn't worth it at all. It wasn't what I wanted to do. So to me, the idea, one of the things that I really feel comfortable with and th that I wanted to go for it is to work on the possibility of focusing, you know, in this kind of alternative movie where everything happens just in his head because it happens from his head. It's not that it's in his head and it's not real, but because of in, it happens inside of him and we, he's the, like the, the, the way we measure what's going on and his personal, sub, his subjectivity is what I use to force everybody to perceive what's going on. It could be that close to surrealism, for yeah, example. Yeah, totally. So that's uh, what I really... That's what you were trying to explore. Yeah, that's what I went for, more yeah. than other things that could be more you know, logical, but they were there anyway. So instead, right. instead of underlining that, I try to add new layers. Well, and Elijah, your character is suffering from terrible stage fright. Mm -hmm. I mean, has that something, you've been performing most of your life, is that something that you've ever had to deal with? Could you relate to that? Stage fright, no, because I think, I think genuine stage fright is debilitating. I, when I hear stories of people who have real stage fright, it's like, you know, they're, they're, they're vomiting before they're, they're walking right. on the stage and <coughs> they're experiencing a cold sweat. But no, but anxiety, certainly, and, mm. and being afraid of being in front of a lot of people. And, you know, in, in a way, because I don't play the piano and, and I was facing such an intense challenge, making that come to life in a believable way, to a certain degree, that did a lot of the anxiety work for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because I, 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 I took that responsibility so seriously and, and only had so much time to prepare. So. I, I was experiencing a little bit about uh, what the character was going through by the one having to facilitate that thing. Was it technically difficult to sort of learn how to play the piano, what you need to do to do that, and then be saying your lines and, oh, and doing everything? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, at, at, its, at its most intense, it was literally a mixture of playing, listening, you know, to the music and, and the click to be on time. and and in the right space for the music, as well as listening to John Cusack and having to respond all in the same shot. Whew, it's exhausting. Yeah. And Cusack was great in this. That was mm. great. Cusack was wonderful and, and it's such a treat We had a great well. time with him in Barcelona. He was with us uh, for a week and we didn't know what to expect because, you know, it's just, come on, it's John Cusack. And wow, I mean, great collaborator. Mm. And uh, we had a chance to hang out with him on a couple of occasions, like uh, drinking and smoking cigar. And, yeah, it's so And cool. amazing, it's an amazing guy. Wow. It, was a, it was kind of a dream in a way because he came into town, prior to him coming to town, we'd spent so much time working, you know, Don McManus had arrived, we were working on the script, we were working on the schedule, uh, figuring out the logistics of how to do the piano with the music and all these things prepping. And then we get into this stuff with, with John, which is effectively the end of the movie very physical and it felt like a dream yeah. and then the, that came to an end it was like did that even happen yeah yeah <laughs> going out for drinks with john cusack and then we're into the piano it was like what, <laughs> what was that crazy week we just had totally, totally well it came it came out great in the film congratulations and oh, thank thanks you, for man. letting me be so awkwardly close to you guys no, no, no. <laughs>